In this video, I'm going to show you how to capture an IP address use, using React. It's a fairly simple process. We, for the most part, leverage um, ipfi.org. They created a nice uh, IP callback. Actually, you can see it right on my screen. So pretty much here, Keith Weaver, uh, at keithweaver.ca slash lessons, I have lessons. Uh, I usually go to this one here and hit view in single page. I'll include this link in the description below. I realize in the title I'm missing the word address, so capture an IP address. You're gonna also have to go, to, we're gonna use this here as the starting point. So this is a basic repository that allows you to run a basic React app. This is common for, this allows you to run it on GitHub pages, but that's not working, we're just gonna do this locally. So your first step will be to create a new repository to, to work in. Actually, you don't even need, even need to do that, you can just download this. But I, I recommend doing that. So I'm just gonna say download zip here. I'm gonna start by opening up my terminal. I'm gonna switch to my desktop. It's called make a new directory called I'll zoom in a little bit. I make a new directory called IP demo. Switch into IP demo. I'm just gonna say open uh, dot. Copy all over all these files. And the first step here really is just to do an npm install. It'll take some time, but uh, before we actually get to the npm install, I'm just gonna do Atom and I'm gonna open up my project in Atom. You can really use any uh, text editor. I'm just using Atom because I like it. Close that other project I had open. So on my terminal, now I'm just gonna do npm install. Obviously with this project, I'm assuming that you have Node installed. There's lots of videos on how to install Node. It's not hard, just uh, you can look up one. So let's head over to the lesson, read about what we have to do, and then we'll actually uh, do the code changes and actually perform the change. So the first thing we're gonna head is here. Pretty much we're gonna get everything running on localhost 3000. We're gonna go into our app.js and when we mount our app component, we're gonna add this one fetch. It's gonna do a get request uh, to this API, this URL essentially, and it returns our IP. It's fairly simple. So let's do it. Um, let's start by finding our code. So I'm gonna head over to source and then app.js. Currently it's, oh, it is using this component structure. So we're gonna add component will mount. If we head back to our lessons, we can literally copy this whole line and paste it and we'll print it out to the console for now. Let's check on our terminal. That's everything we need to do. Let's check on our terminal. It's still installing. I'm gonna run npm run start to get the app running locally on port 3000. The app is running locally, so let's just head over to, I'm right clicking, or you can go to, uh, I believe it's view, developer, and then you want inspect elements. Uh, we're looking for the JavaScript console. So I'm gonna hit JavaScript console. And as you can see, you, uh, it's listing out my IP address. There's lots of services out there that um, provide additional information with your IP address. So this would be like uh, location, service provider, things like that very nice to get a better understanding of where your users are coming from. This is great, again, I, as mentioned, when you sign up for a Stripe Connect account, when you're onboarding users to that, they need to agree to terms of services and they need the, you need to capture the IP address. When users are signing in, you may have got received it, or you're signing in from a new IP address. This would be another example of using it. These are just some ideas. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna have another video next Wednesday. Please subscribe.